two, one, ignition, and liftoff. It's the latest attempt by a commercial entity to try and land on the moon. Early Thursday, a SpaceX rocket carrying Intuitive Machines Lunar Lander launched from Florida. It's the second attempt by a private company looking to deliver NASA instruments to start research. What the goal is in the long term is for these clips companies to be able to take to the moon work or goods or services of other bigger companies that just want to do work in space. CLIPS, short for Commercial Lunar Payload Services, is the administration's attempt to get those tools to the moon and learn more about the environment before human missions with Artemis. NASA has spread payloads across several launches. The first failed last month after the Astrobotic Technology spacecraft suffered a fuel leak before re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and broke apart 10 days after it launched. Landing on the moon is hard, so um, you expect 50% of them to fail. That's fine, even if a few, even if a little bit more than 50% fail. I think you're still on track to make it cheaper. The Intuitive Machines Nova Sea Lander, known as Odysseus, will make its attempt next Thursday. I am one Odysseus lunar lander separation confirmed. On board are six NASA instruments, including tools to help land, navigate, measure propellant or impact on the lunar environment by the spacecraft. Having this high resolution imagery in the data will hopefully enable us to answer questions like, you know, how far do we need to go away from a spacecraft to sample? Odysseus also holds Canadian content. Canadensis Aerospace has built a camera that will capture some of the first images of the center of the Milky Way galaxy from the surface of the moon. Kyle Benning, Global News.